So day two gets underway then with the Henrietta Knight handicap chase. It's a three mile three full on grade three handicap. And the top one is it Marbo, Darren Thompson. Stroke the gold, Leon van Rensburg, the Mighty Eight, Joshua Sutherland, Ashton, James Feist, Spinflake, Thunderspark, Ziva David, Paul Rhodes, Summer Shaw, Jim Murray, Napoleon Gray, Stu Gray, Windy Miller, Kevin Minahan, Princess Peach, David Robertson, AT Alternative, Molly at Surfer, Dark Knight, Leon van Rensburg, Running Skips, Ghost Zapper, Grecian Erngram, Clitterbook, Johnny Cash, Derek Hinton, Passive Future, Daniel French, and Brace for Impact is Graham Clutterbuck as well. They're away and racing. Now towards the first of the fences and this first race on day two, Max and Gold Cup Day, and they take the first. And they're all safely over that one with Johnny Cash out in the lead. 22 more fences to take. Johnny Cash pulling for his head. And the jockey just trying to restrain him a little with the grey spin flake. On that one's outside in second. The rest of the field are pretty tightly packed with only four lengths separating them. But the leader is just Johnny Cash as they take the second. And they're all over that one nicely with the pink colours of Derek Hinton showing the way then. On Johnny Cash then Spin Flake and the many colours of Thunderspark in second as they take number three. And they're all safely over that one with Windy Miller. Just the back marker at this very early stage of the race, they swing out left-handed. Still got three miles to race, which is another two circuits of the track. And Johnny Cash by a couple to Spin Flake in the green. The grey horse in second. And comes Princess Peach in those familiar David Robertson colours in third. With Ashton just behind that one on the inside in fourth. Formula One Follis and then AT Alternative for one. Oh, he's gone in the leader then. The leader's gone. Johnny Cash is out of the race and an unseated pilot whilst in the lead. And that's drama early on in this one then. And that's left Spin Flake in the lead as they take the next. That's the water. And Windy Miller continues to be the back marker. Spin Flake is now the leader after the early departure of Johnny Cash they take number six all over that one okay with spin flakes still in front making some ground on the outside there run and skip to go in the wide way around there the pale blue with the yellow cap as they take that one and we've lost another one there that looks like Stu Gray's horse has gone it's Napoleon Gray so Napoleon Gray is out of the race so defeated in France last week Napoleon and he's been defeated in England this week so he's not having a good time is he Napoleon these days uh, spin flake leads over this big ditch the rest of them are over it okay With the mighty eight having moved through into second place now then Ashton is third and then Summer Shore and Grecian Earn as they take number nine well that one okay as well with the loose horse showing the way and spin flake following him nicely in the lead with the mighty eight just behind that one then Ashton and Summer Shore and then Grecian Urn. Dark Knight is after that one as they take number 10. You see them all safely over that one as well. Napoleon Grey jumping around for fun at the back. But Spin Flake is almost joined by the Mighty Eight now then. As they get towards the two mile mark in this race. And Spin Flake by half a length through the Mighty Eight in second. And they skip over that one and they're all over that one nicely as well. So they're jumping. Not been too bad. That's the two departees. Spin Flake leads from the Mighty Eight second, Ashton third, and Dark Knight and Grecian Urn. Run and skips after that. Summer Shaw also getting a bit closer. Then Strike the Golden Princess Peach Ziva David getting her first mention is next, and then he hit Marbo with Passive Future Brace for Impact, AT Alternative, and finally Windy Miller as they take number 12 on a mistake there by Run and Skips, and we're losing one at the back. Brace for Impact is calling it quits after that one. So that's the first of Graham Clutterbuck's horses out of the race as they take the next one out. I mean, look, it looks like we're losing another one there now. AT Alternative has been pulled up as well. So it's four gone now then. Two to the pull up, uh, two unseated riders. And they race past the big screen and off on their final circuit of Presbury Park with Spin Flake the leader. Ashton second, the Mighty Eight third. Grecian Urn is four and Summer Shore is five. Then Princess Beach is after that one. And then Strike the Golden Dark Knight and Run and Skips. He's lost a bit of ground. Ziva David is, on, is just behind that one on the rail with it. Marbo chasing her. And then. Oh, crashing falls there. Two of them have gone there. The Mighty Eight and Grecian Urn have both crashed out of the race. 
at that fence and I wonder if that loose horse in front is just pulling one or two of these off and they both crashed out there so over the water we go and a somewhat depleted field all of a sudden but it's still Spinflake in the lead from Ashton and Run and Skips who was toiling a few furlongs ago and he's now right up there challenging for the lead and jumps that one nicely and gets a share of the lead with Spinflake just being rousted along by the jockey Ashton is tucked away nicely oh a spin flake this time again a poor jump and that's allowed run and skips to take it up so run and skips it is then from spin flake second Ashton is third going up on that one's inside is strike the goal trying to come around the outside princess peach and also still there summer Shaw. that's the leading group as they take the next and over that one's run and skips has now gone into the lead run and skips is the leader from spin flake trying to battle back on the inside a couple of lengths back then to strike the golden summer short as they take the 19th and again spin flake was slow and run and skip to get away from it better and he's now two clear as one past the loose horse that's the first time anybody's got past johnny cash yet in this race and run and skip is the leader from strike the gold spin flake then Princess Peach and Summer Shaw. Ziva David is creeping into it on the outside as they take the 20th. That leaves them three more to take. And Run and Skips from Spin Flake, who's been right up there all the way, but he's under pressure. Then comes Strike the Golden Summer Shaw. Then on the, after that one is Ziva David trying to run on still his dark night. And right over here on the outside comes Windy Miller, who's come right through now to take that one as they get over the third from home. And it's Run and Skips who's now two clear. Run and Skips from a weakening Spin Flake. Then Summer Shaw and Windy Miller. Ashton's plotting on him fourth. Ziva but if he looks a bit one pace on the outside in fifth they've got three more furlongs to race and they've got two more fences to take and run and skips is still the leader by about four to Windy Miller in second. Now Spin Flake is trying to run on again. Summer Shaw between the two. Ashton's after that one. Then Ziva to Eden strike the goal. The rest are out of it. They come down towards the second last. And run and skips. Runs and skips over it. Gets away from it well. Summer Shaw in hot pursuit in second. The rest are beaten. Down towards the final fence. Run and skips is only going to jump it for an easy opening race win for John Morgan. Goes and zap by run and skips. Races into the final foot. They're not going to get anywhere near this one. And total block on the handicap it would seem run and skips has taken this by a very long way indeed and uh, to say this is supposed to be a handicap they're well strung out and run and skips takes the henrietta not handicap second is summer Shaw, then ashton ziva david long time leader spin flake was next and then windy miller and dark knight was the last to finish as it marbo fell towards the end of the race so run and skips takes it for ghost zapper a seven and three quarter length winner in a handicap and from out of the handicap as well, Summer Shaw was second for Jim Murray, Ashton third for James Follis, Paul Rose got fourth with Ziva David, and Spinflake was fifth for Thunderspark.